popular art installation on the UC San Diego campus. It's back open for public tours. Heather Lake is live there this morning with a look. Oh, Heather, are you going in? I am going in. Okay, so I have actually never been inside the Fallen Star, and if you have never heard of it, of course, if you were on campus and you're walking around, you're going, there's a crooked house on the top of the Jacobs building here. So. It was uh, put up here on, in 2012, so it's been here for a while. During COVID, they shut down for public tours, so you couldn't go inside, but now it's reopened. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the history and all of that, but first things first, it is supposed to be a little disorienting when you go in, Raul. I don't know if you've ever stepped inside before, but apparently when you go in, you feel a little bit like you have vertigo, um, and we'll see if someone will open the door for us here this morning and, uh, and let us in so we can get a full tour and take you inside. Oh my gosh. Hi, good morning. All right, so I'm going to let Christine go inside first. So fully furnished home and be careful. I'm sure this is going to be really tough for her as a photographer getting in there and trying to stand up straight. It's really interesting to walk inside here when you get your feet on the floor. Everything is crooked. There's no perfect angles except for the chandelier. So you can see what's actually straight. Whoa. This, Jessica, so you're the curator of the Stewart collection. This is one of the pieces. There's um, nearly two dozen pieces of artwork around the campus. This feels so bizarre. <laughs> it is bizarre. And people have feel this sense of vertigo. Right. Um, kids love it. <laughs> our, our students love it because it's, it's also a site to discuss a series of things around what is a home um, and what, what reminds you of, of home when you come from other countries to the campus. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the artist and some of the significance of the decor in here. So the artist is from South Korea. He's called Do Ho Sa and lives in New York. And the, the artwork has to do with his feeling of displacement when he came from South Korea to the US to study at the Rhode Island School of Design. So when he arrived here at UCSD, he, he saw and he realized that most of the people here on campus aren't from San Diego. Yeah. They come from different parts of the US and from different parts of the, of the world. So he thought, well, maybe they'll connect with the same feeling I had cool. when I arrived in the US. I felt like I'd been dropped from the sky into another planet. Yeah, it's really neat to see kind of the connection to this and then, you know, feeling like you're not home, but then hopefully making San Diego feel like home at some point. I've been seeing a, a couple of Easter eggs here and there. There's definitely some throwback pieces in there. I saw the, uh, the camera over there, the one time single use. I'm like, if we got that uh, film, <laughs> you know, drop that off at the camera store, that there might be some fun stuff on that camera over there for sure. Okay, I feel like if for a minute, I want to stand here and just stand really still, but if my if I turn my head, it almost makes you really dizzy. Is that what people say happens? Yes, people feel dizzy. They'll feel a little bit like maybe car sick sometimes. Yeah. And it all has to do with feel, this feeling of displacement. Like you yeah. don't quite know where you are or what's going on. Did he know that he was doing this and that when you stepped inside, it was going to give you that kind of sense of, of vertigo? Yes, that's absolutely part of the, okay. it, the intention of the work. Really, really interesting. Okay, let's step back outside and give you the, uh, the outside views. <laughs> I do feel like I'm going to fall over here for a second. Okay. We'll help uh, Christine get out of here too. Hopefully, I don't know how she's doing that. Uh, good job, Christine, by the way, camera work there. It's so, it looks so simple, but when you walk inside, it really makes you feel uh, very uneasy. That's, that is so interesting. Okay, so public tours open again. They were closed during COVID uh, and the pandemic, and now they're reopened, but they need help getting these tours back going. So what do you guys need? Well, we rely on, on the generosity of our volunteers, of our okay. docents, who are mostly senior citizens who love art like we do. And right now we're working on a calendar so you can access um, our calendar through our website cool. and pick a slot and then we can we can give you a tour. So if they have more docents, they can obviously put more tours in the calendar. Right now it's completely free. You can come by yourself or a couple of friends and check it all out. And so all that information I'm linking to fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the scene on tab. Um, but lots of fun if you want to come out here and, and see it for yourself and kind of feel that really interesting feeling. I mean, I think too, for people who have never seen the Fallen Star, Raul and Christina, when you're kind of walking around campus, you're like, what is that? What and is no, there are no witch's shoes under here. But yes, very much like Wizard of Oz. <laughs>